All right. Welcome to Girlfriends Happy I'm, Hour, everyone. I'm Melanie. Get down to business. Hi, Melanie. <laughs> I'm Monica. Hi, Melanie. I'm Karen. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Wait, you look different than Ashley, yes, and your name does. is different. About <laughs> differently. Yes, Ashley is not here today, and um, we have invited our friend Karen to join us. Which can I just say is a miracle in itself because <laughs> this woman is never not busy. The fact that she's like, I could do this time. I'm like. Wait, seriously? You've got like an open schedule? God bless, bless you, dog. You. <laughs> bless you, Sadie. Sadie's Sadie, Sadie. And the podcast love. And apparently she has allergies to us. But not cooties. Because <laughs> no. she had her shot. She did have her cootie shot. So yeah, so we're good you. to go. We are good to go. All right. Man, we got a mixed bag of things to talk about today. Have we... you had your cootie shot up today? <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten my cootie shot quite a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. So Karen is our friend. Mm-hmm. And... Part of the cul-de-sac crew. Can yes. we say yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we we drink a lot of wine together. We hang mm-hmm. out in the driveway together. Driveway yep. wine. Driveway, driveway wine. Driveway wine. It's That's the best. We are. <laughs> in our in our folding chairs. In fact, we got we t-shirts that say drink drinks well, well with others. Drinks well with others. Yep. That's right. Karen and got us t-shirts on yep. one of her many travels, which we're gonna talk about I was some of with her, her travels. I was with her on that one. I just want to put that in. Cause oh, I, I forgot. I, yeah. Yes. Thank that's you. right. But no, I was with her on that one. Okay. quite exciting. <laughs> exciting adventures to Detroit. Was, that's when we saw Martha Stewart. Yes. Oh, and, I, right. and I started a little bit of a stalking thing there. But <laughs> I'm over Martha now, Stewart. so I'm good to go. So yeah, if you this is your first time tuning in to Girlfriends Happy Hour, we're yeah. a podcast where friends get together mm-hmm. and we drink cocktails mm-hmm. and we chat about whatever the hell we want to chat about. Whatever we want. Anything. Anything. Uh, we like to talk about spooky stuff. We do. Mm-hmm. Ghosties in the in the podcast yeah. lounge. Yep. Um, we talk about true crime. We enjoy Sometimes, that. Yeah, we enjoy that. We talk. We love movies and TV. We love recommendations, which FYI, we just got for Karen. And I'm mm-hmm. like, and this is me. And this is how little I have going on in my life at this time. I'm like, could I binge watch that for the entire weekend? <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, that, well, now my, I have plans now for the weekend. They're on season five. Might wow. take you a couple. And, and it, so it's, it is on Netflix. It's on Netflix. No, it's on On Demand. On, on Demand. Demand. Okay. On the History yeah, Channel. It, on the History Channel. Oh, God. Oh. Vikings. And the name is Vikings. It's not mm-hmm. The Vikings because that's a Kirk Douglas movie. Oh. Or a football team. <laughs> true. Yeah. But, but I yeah. wouldn't know that. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I can't tell you who they play for. <laughs> Bless her heart. One of our first conversations. Don't share, I don't care forever. One time we were just kind of sharing some stuff at, you know, did it talking about, I was talking about football and she's like, I don't know anything about football. I'm like, and, and to me, I'm like, what? You don't know anything about football? And then she goes, well, I can name all the principal dancers in the New York Ballet <laughs> Company. I was like, and I was like, and that, for some that has always stuck with me. I'm like, wow, that, okay, that's amazing. You know, it's like, we all shine in our own areas. We do. We shine in so. our own areas. Yes. <laughs> football Just is not mine. Be no. careful what areas you're shining yes, in. Yes, there you go. Yeah, I got it. I'm the only one here with an empty glass. Well, I am sorry. Okay, so. Here we are at the podcast. So we always yeah. start out, we have a cocktail. Well, today we decided to drink some wine yes. because we love our wine. Yes. And we don't talk about wine enough on our on our um, Girlfriend's no. Happy Hour. We do a lot of, oh my gosh, Melanie makes up these fancy, fancy drinks. And now mm-hmm. they're always in these hammered copper, copper cups. Oh, <laughs> I did that the, once. Well, now I, I see like them everywhere. A mule? Well, then we went out. A mule, yes. A mule. Yes, that's it. <laughs> yes. Because then we went out and you ordered one. And I'm like, why am I missing out on this drink? They're good. I don't understand it. <laughs> They're yummy. You're behind the times. I Monica. am. See? I, I, I have a little up. Moscow mule kit that you can take on that plane with you. So you can make your little what? Moscow yeah. mules while you're on traveling. On the plane? On the plane. Oh, my. That's yes. how much you travel. <laughs> I, I flew on a plane last year for the first time in like 20 two years i think <laughs> since i think i got i know she oh karen my eyes are going wide her face my she eyes. is now broadening horizons so we're very excited work fyi keep the pterodactyls mind. don't have the little yeah. thing on the back anyway <laughs> but Lindsay. we're kind of kicking around the idea of doing a little girlfriend thing next next february february in new orleans but not which, camping no, no camp. I, I don't camp. I refuse to camp. That. I do not camp. I don't even think you, you try could to pressure pull off me. Glamping. You try. No, you try to pressure me. <laughs> yes, you do. I'm not going to do it anymore. I didn't give in to peer pressure no. when I was a teenager. I'm I don't not going to do it anymore. <laughs> no way. Because I no. did. I shamed. I tried everything. And it yes, didn't I work. will go to New Orleans. Okay. Because she and I both. I, I've only been there twice. You've probably I've been, been there, there twice. 
Oh, see, oh. there you go. But I've been well, there you're recently. not as fancy as you oh, claim. See, I haven't be. been there since the uh, hurricane. So okay, yeah. So Pre- I, I was a pre-Katrina traveler. So <laughs> I was a post-Katrina traveler. <laughs> okay, but I can one up you on that because I did meet Chef Paul Perdome, who was, I believe, since died. Oh, I didn't, but I was just walking <laughs> through the streets of New York and walked by Hugh Jackman. Damn it! Ooh, what uh, it's BB. Uh, okay, ding, ding, ding. Um, Mic drop. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Don't drop I was the mics. In, They're expensive. I was in um, Miami sitting at an outdoor cafe drinking and, oh, look who walks by me. Tommy Lee Jones. Boom. Drop mic again. Wow. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? He's the kind of actor that I would not even really want to have eye contact with because I think he would yell at me. Oh, I like him. I do too. Mad crush Tommy on Tommy Lee him. Jones? He's, mad... he's like my t- my movie boyfriend. He I know. was my, my movie boyfriend. boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. I have like a mad like crush on him. He's older than my dad. I know. <laughs> it's okay. Still looks good though. Yeah. Sean Connery yeah. is mine. Oh, yeah. Sean really? Connery. I don't know if he's oh. even alive anymore. <laughs> he is. His hair is not, but he is. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I finally poured Monica's wine. Yeah. So earlier today, I said, oh my gosh, I don't have any wine. And I can tell you this, Karen, I called Monica and I said, Monica, would it be rude if I asked Karen to bring her own wine? Because she's got 50 bazillion bottles in her house and, yeah. and I have to run to the and store. And she was nervous about it. She goes, what should I do? And I'm like, I'll text her. <laughs> no problem. And I'm like, since your house is basically a wine cellar, why don't you grab a bottle oh come on over? <laughs> I don't have that much. <laughs> but then at the yeah. last minute, well, you never responded. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just run up to the store super quick. And oh, um, well, I was teaching. Uh, well, I know. I know you were. So yeah. I didn't see your text. So but, no, that's fine. So I, I was looking through the wines and I'm like, I want to find one with a fun title. And I saw and I see Karen. Actually, she did bring a bottle. Yes. And it's Good very one. exciting. I like that. The Menage a Trois. I love that. Because there's decadence. three of us. Because, yes. And we're decadent. <laughs> and we're we decadent. Are. It's a to Cabernet. A it's a 2015 Cabernet from California. And um, oh. so we'll crack that open in a minute. Um, but the one that I, caught my eye <laughs> for the three of us, uh-huh. it's called Troublemaker. Well, that'd be us. Perfect. Seriously. Yes. It says on the back, Troublemaker Red Blend. You know who you are. <laughs> no eye contact. <laughs> Nobody's making eye contact. Intensely rich, velvety smooth, sneaky good. And um, let's see. I don't even know where it's from. Uh, California. Austin Hope Winery. Paso Robles. <laughs> Paso Robles? Paso Robles. I don't that was know. pretty good, Anywhere. though. Anyway, California. I do know how to say that. And we have oh, we have our second most um, number of listeners in California. So, yes. hey, shout out, Kelly. Hello. <laughs> okay, before we, we get you. on to other things, um, World Market, they're, they're all over the country, correct? World Market stores? I think so. They have an incredible wine department. They have now um, a red that we've got to get. It's called the Walking Dead Red. Mm. It's like got zombies on the label. I walked by a Walking Dead member too, cast member. I don't watch oh, the show though. One? So I, I don't know. I don't know who he was. Well, you can't pull that on no me. I really was Rick. Ta- oh, okay. Tall. Is it longish hair? <laughs> they all have they was all it, get Was long it hair. Uh, Norman? I don't Read this? No. I don't know what they look like. He's not they're too tall. Was he thin tall and thin? Tall and thin. Maybe it was Rick Grimes. Pull out pictures. Um, what's his name? Oh, I'm <laughs> pull out pictures. Not last right last minute, like on the top of Did my head. I can't anybody come up that with you things. were with know who it was. Yeah, that's why I mm-hmm. somebody was like, oh, you know who that is? That's blah 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 from we the Walking to, Dead show. We and to make a phone call. <laughs> I can find out. Was it male or female? Male. <laughs> Good looking or not? Uh, grayish hair, long, tall. Okay. Hi, Google. I have like now. I haven't put watched in walk- The Walking Dead in a okay. while. I don't Just know. Start why. scrolling around. The, Scroll. That's that's Glenn. He's dead. So don't. He oh, I think a- it was this guy. That's Norman Reedus. Oh, you saw Norman Reedus? Oh, he's got a hot. Yeah, it was him. Oh my God, he's dating. Mic drop. Do I win? <laughs> yes. You know who he's dating? Um, Diane. Not either any Kruger? of us. Diane Kruger is that her name? She oh. was on the first. Um, um, my brain is still functioning. I need another drink of wine. We, we need Ashley here. <laughs> she yeah. comes up with all those names. Well, uh, if you saw Jeffrey the... Dean Morgan, oh, I would have I... been great. Yeah, He's you love him too. I oh, do. you probably watched the um, uh. Grey's Anatomy yes, when Grey's he Anatomy. died. Oh, I remember yes. that one. Well, when he, he was a ghost. Well, he originally he was on Supernatural. Yeah, he played. Yes. The, he was the he boy's was dad. Sammy yeah. Dean's daddy. Yep. 
They do fun. They did fun and little National Twitter Treasure. Stuff. God. <laughs> see, sometimes see it takes how me a while. <laughs> Sorry. That was the show. Diane Kruger. Yeah. Oh, that Jeffrey Dean Morgan. No no, 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 no. We're just admiring his face. <laughs> Jeffrey Dean Morgan. <laughs> yes. So you saw Norman Reedus. Yeah. Do you know he, these two go all around Europe just when they get a break, they get on their motorcycles Bumming and just around. go. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, did Norman, Norman Reedus start like a, uh, what the hell do you call Fan this kind of shows? Something. Oh. <laughs> a reality show. <laughs> oh my God, this wine. I think they did. Uh, yeah, the, he had a reality show. It's a show. troublemaker. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. You have troublemakers. Tell you not my tongue and my brain and everything else. <laughs> I like But looking. yeah, he started a reality show about traveling around on his bike. With Norman, with Norman Reedus, I think it is. Yes. We need to get Let's motorcycles and do that sort of oh, thing. Well, oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to. It would fall on top of me. Anyway. I would, yeah. <laughs> I could even probably sit on a motorcycle what, without knocking it I, over. Yeah, I would just sit on it and fall Let's on top of me way. and I would, I would I be my tragic death. I don't even ride a bike anymore, so. I fall off of bikes, so. I can't touch. You fall you know, off. You're good on your feet, but yeah. on a bike, not so I, I much. I fall off bikes because yeah. I can't touch my feet on yeah. the ground when I'm sitting See, on we the have, seat. We and- have similar <laughs> idiosyncrasies in common. You know why? Because we're both Leos and we're just within days of each other. I know. Tell yeah. the days. story. We're the bomb babies. Yep, we're bomb babies. I was born on the day that um, we bombed. Hiroshima. Hiroshima. And you... We're born on the day that we bombed Nagasaki. Nagasaki. Yep. So, well, not the exact day. Not the exact day. Not the year. I no, was we're not say, that right? old. <laughs> we may sound young. Yeah, no, we're really in our twenties. So. Yes. A couple times over. Whatever. Anyways, so yeah. So Norman Reedus. Well, wow, we're gonna talk about that later on. Well, so was he in I California? Didn't... Was he at the winery? No, no, no. That was in New York. <sighs> She travels all over. I was all excited because I went to Kroger on a Friday <laughs> night and went grocery shopping. Went to K. Roger all by myself, did a little shopping. Hey, I just went to the fine wine and spirit store here in town. Yeah. <laughs> That's where oh, I, I know exactly yeah. where that is. Yeah. You know what? Exciting. Oh, and we now have a Mega Bev, which I don't want to brag to other people, but it's one big liquor store. It's called Mega Bev. <laughs> down on Cedar Street. Yeah. I know exactly yes. where that is. I actually walked in That's there That's that once. old grocery store. Yes, because yes. I actually walked in there. I'm like, I love that. This is store. a Mega Bev. And they're like, well, thank you. It is. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, yes, it is. We still don't have what you want, but we are a Mega Bev. I've heard that the uh, new place in Mason around the curve, there's a liquor store there. They have a lot of amazing, unique things in that store. Cool. We will have to check it out. I am into that. I would, yeah. Mm-hmm. Girlfriend's right before it Day goes out. out curve <laughs> cool I'll check it out they're already open yeah they've been okay. open oh, yeah. I had a couple of people that told me that it was they had a lot of things that you can't find other places mm-hmm. they carry them and really a lot of beers might be and worth the journey things. yeah the journey yeah. like five minutes <laughs> yeah. down the road you gotta get me before I start watching Vikings because once I'm in <laughs> you're gone I'm not leaving the house so I'm not good. showering it's, it's like it's so ugly. good yeah. but it's so bloody <gasps> whoops but you know what can I just say something silly um tomorrow this probably is no interest to anyone else, but tomorrow my mom is coming over. My mom doesn't even, she lives 45 minutes away. I'm such a bad daughter. We talk every other day on the phone. However, I've not seen her since like two weeks before Christmas. Mm-hmm. That's bad. We've tried, but we she's have with tried. her boyfriend holding yes. hands. We've tried. <laughs> and so anyway, she's coming over for, uh, tomorrow they're coming over for dinner. And Peyton, Carson and I are going to make dinner. We're number making two. Number two. <laughs> number two. Number two. My daughter number two. We are making um, beef Wellington, and we're also going to. I've got this beautiful cake that we're making. It's like a mandarin orange cake with a crushed pineapple frosting. Oh, yum! It's supposed to be kind of healthy, so we're doing that. And for the first time ever <laughs> in my life, Melanie, I'm gonna punch you. First time ever in my life, she's laughing. First time ever in my life. Where's the chocolate? We're making risotto as well. Oh yeah, I love risotto. I, I know. Do like so what kind of risotto? Parmesan. Risotto with peas. That Very sounds nice. delicious. So, Spring peas, you, fresh, chopped. Uh, fresh Out of a can. Cr- <laughs> K. Roger frozen peas, mm. which might <laughs> dumb it down a bit, but whatever. Mm. All it said was frozen peas, so that's what A real chef would shock their own peas. Darn it all! <laughs> but it's not really pea season, is it? So, and I don't mean urine, but I mean whatever. Because then we'd be getting into asparagus, and I don't want to even go there. See, we're spiraling out of control already. Yeah. <laughs> 
Rain her in. <laughs> like I said, I put Monica on her own mic because she goes rogue. So I, I can just cut it's that sad. shit off. It is sad. <laughs> I know Sadie just got up, looked at me, and just put her head right down. Like, I don't even want to know you. She's like, I, I want to be by my mama, but it's crazy in here. Bunch of troublemakers <laughs> having a crazy. menage a trois. <laughs> okay, yes, I do okay. know what menage a trois means, though. So, it, no, we're not doing that. No, it lounge. means three women drinking wine. Thank yeah, you. That's, that's what we're going exactly with. That's exactly what it means. That's what and we're going with. And that's what we are. Yeah. <laughs> So, so Karen, tell us about your two. You just got back from a trip to California. I did. Na- it was at the Napa Valley. Napa Valley. Oh, so chance. Stayed in Napa. You actually took your Napa husband. proper. I did, finally. <laughs> he is such a good sport. He takes he the a good best sport. pictures of you. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and she's so fun. Kara's fun. It was like a photo shoot. It was. <laughs> and I have a feeling it's kind of a Leo thing. I don't know. But it's like everyone, they're all dramatic and she's posing. And I'm like, so basically your husband's going around as your photographer. And she's like, yeah. <laughs> but AKA he was the one that driver. kept going, oh, wait, I need a picture. Because I hate pictures. Yeah. I'm terrible in pictures. Oh, so, yeah. So we, You're yeah, so, I know. Oh, I'm she's really very photogenic. But you yeah. have to be. If you don't like your picture taken, then you have to go dramatic. Mm-hmm. That's what makes it fun and enjoyable. Yeah. Otherwise, like it's just like... standing in a teacup or a flower or I something? I standing in a flower. In a flower. Yes, because yeah. yes, yes, outside of our hotel, <laughs> we're all... It was tons of statues mm-hmm. and artwork. It was very cool. So yeah. they had big roses in our garden outside of okay. our... Okay. Yes. It's very sweet. Yes. So I stood in the rose. So every rose we... has a thorn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every hey, night. that'd be a good song. Um, <laughs> yeah, someone should write so, that. Someone maybe. Should, someone should do something My next with career. That. Let's write a song. <laughs> All right. So when you say Napa Valley, that's just not like a little area. It's quite a wide area, isn't it? It is because it encompasses there's Napa and there's Rutherford and there's Yauntsville and St. Helena. And so they're all. They're all I this... need to go to Yauntsville. 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 I, I could be wrong and somebody will probably correct me, but that is <laughs> where French Laundry is. Which is Thomas Keller. See, if you were a chef and working with real peas, you would know that. God, see? <laughs> damn it, that's my downfall. <laughs> damn you, Kroger. Damn you, Kroger frozen peas. God! Oh, life is over. Do we grow fresh peas in Michigan, though? In really? this time it's here? What do you... I don't know. Mm. Uh, well, we do. We have our own like amazing wineries, and people wouldn't know that if no, they're not right. from Michigan or know much no. about Michigan, they wouldn't realize. And that. they're getting good. Too. Oh my gosh! Yes. Yeah, they are. What, you and I went to one and spent far too much time there once. Oh, that was fun. on a weekend when we went camping, where yes, Karen we were, didn't go with us, we where I was camping. not. <laughs> You would love it because you have to pay 25 cents to take a shower. No, no, no. <laughs> Seriously. Thank you. No. You pay to take a shower. No. <laughs> you got to wear then, your flip flops. Uh, and no. then you wear flip flops. Uh, and then you look up and I it's just in a, rafters. And I'm like. I would go in, in a hazmat suit. Uh, yeah. Here I am in my hazmat suit to take my shower. Just holds me down. <laughs> Yeah, there's like a trough. So like <laughs> oh, the water oh, comes down and oh, you're standing no. in the shower worse, and then it? it just drains into like this trough along the back where all the showers Okay, I'm going to be quiet now because they just fainted. <laughs> <laughs> all the showers drain into the trough going back You know what forth. though? We make fun anywhere we go and 25 cent showers, you know, oh, they, so you have fun. enough to, a couple glasses of wine, they're fun, you know? <laughs> Except when you look up at the rafters and think, oh my God, is that a bat? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and it's all open yeah. to the other showers, yeah. too. And people are always like, well, if you take extra quarters, I'm like, I am not staying in there more than 25 cents worth, believe me. It's like, wash, and just everything else, done. I'm out of there. It's like, ugh. But, yeah, I'm horrified. But it's fun. That, that's it's just, super fun, and we love to have Yeah, you. sure. Yeah. I'm going now. <laughs> Sign well, me up. You really sold me now. Yeah. Oh, but that campground is in Ludington, which we talked about. And Shh. so... That's secret. Oh, it's our secret campground. Our secret campground in Ludington. Because <laughs> all of our India listeners are going to travel to Ludington. They will. To go to we, I don't want to brag, but <laughs> we are getting hot in India. They love us. So, yeah. Yes. But anyway, so yeah, Michigan, um, we've got like, because the, like, the lake effects snow, I guess, mm-hmm. um, gives it like this 
what you, special I like Karen. She's special. So, You're a Mediterranean. So it like causes like favorable makes, a microclimate for favorable and it makes great them, growth. <laughs> doesn't it make when it's the cold? Doesn't it make it sweeter? Some of them sweeter. Yes. That's what. Yeah. yeah. This, when when it's colder, it out, it's, yeah, yeah it brings known. all the sugars out. Mm-hmm. We're I think that's why we grow lines. a lot of whites mm-hmm. in yeah. Michigan. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. we don't grow a lot of reds. No, mm-hmm. and we're more of a red fan. Yeah, we're yeah. not. A, we're yeah. not sweet wine fans here. This is how my wine tastes have evolved since moving into our cul-de-sac i'm almost embarrassed to say that i started out drinking like what is it leafer milch which is like basically pouring sugar down your throat boone's then, farm it, you mean boone's farm white zinfandel probably no and then i moved to white zinfandel okay. and then slowly and then i went to whites and then i went to a drier white and then i da, 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 and now i love reds mm-hmm. so mm-hmm so you're that's, welcome. That's you're, thank you. Yes, it is, Karen. <laughs> and that concludes Monica's wine journey. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Well, when I moved here and first met you guys, um, you guys, you guys, see, that's you guys an accent. Yeah. You guys, 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 you guys. Yeah, I remember you guys were, this was like 10, the first time I moved here. Yeah. <laughs> Long story. Moved here, moved away, yeah. moved back. But um, yeah, they, they were always drinking white zin. Us. And I'm like, what? Because I, and everyone's no, like, ooh, Moscato. And yeah. I'm like, Bleh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone gives you a white wine or a sweet wine. It's like, thank yeah, yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. So there's mm-hmm. lots of places you can do wine tours around here. But Karen felt that she wanted to fly all the way out to California. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's better weather. <laughs> it, I'm sure. The day that we left, though, it was colder there than it was here when yeah. I got back. Really? It was freezing. Up in the north. Yeah. Like yeah. people yeah, don't realize. It's north, Northern mm-hmm. California. You know what? Is it north of like where north of give me a landmark north of it's an hour and a half from San Francisco. And then it's okay. about an hour from Sacramento. OK. So it's a little south of there okay. but sort of like laterally right across because i have a uh daughter and everyone who knows me in this room i mess up their names constantly <laughs> so i just basically one two three so number two daughter is going to be going out there she has a boyfriend who lives in davis which is near sacramento well okay. number two daughter used to live in hollywood right like she right did. in hollywood yeah dad yeah. talk about making your mom nervous good grief <laughs> and her you know this is this is how well i'm a Ted Goofy and apparently so are my kids. Her favorite thing when she, because then she had a couple jobs, one of which was working on Rodeo Drive. And in the morning, she'd go in early to work and she'd drive by an area where all the hookers were. Wave at them every morning. They'd always wave back and every day. They're not hookers. Oh, that's right. What do we call them? Sex workers. Sex workers. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Everybody's yes. got to make yeah. a living. That's true. Karen, would you like me to open this menage a trois? Sure, if you'd like to. All right, I shall be opening Do we have to start a second like bottle that? of wine, and yes. there's three of us. We're going and to we've only been here right? 20 minutes. Yeah, that's not too shocking, is it? How long were you in Napa? Uh, five days, six days. Was that long enough, or did you need more time? It was, well, I mean, I can always have more time on vacation. Oh, who can't? Jeepers. But it was a, it was a really nice amount of time. We got we did we accomplished everything that we wanted to accomplish what does that mean added a few like restaurants that you because you restaurants okay let me just kind of time free for karen karen is one of the most this is where we differ she is one of the most organized and <laughs> focused people that i've ever known and i I'm would really be not the no, complete not. opposite no because whenever you're <laughs> going fighting. anywhere you already know you've already made reservations at restaurants and that sort of thing which i'm like right to make sure i get brilliant them. It's and then brilliant. if I don't, and then if I find something better, then I just cancel it and yeah. make it. But See, we don't. So I'm we end up like some place to eat because that's my number yeah. one priority. So we'll pull up to places and end up like where there's a you know a six day wait. Super. Uh, we're going to McDonald's. So I always envy you doing that. So the one thing we found about Napa though is all of the mm-hmm. unlike Michigan wineries where you just walk in and you do a tasting yes. and, and then you get a glass and you get to take the glass yeah. with you. Mm-hmm. Um, in Napa, you have to make reservations for the tastings. Oh. So you can't just wander into a winery okay. and just taste. You have to have a uh, reservation. Because that's a, like a destination vacation. That's what people... There's yeah. over 500 wineries oh my God. <laughs> in the area. And they're all like pretty much book solid. So oh you just gosh. can't wander up wow. and say, oh, I want to do tasting. I did. There was a winery that was right next to our hotel and 
Don went golfing, so I was like puttering around by myself. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'll just walk over and see. And I walked mm-hmm. in and they're like, no, you have to have a reservation. But if you want to sit outside, and I'm like, of course I want to sit outside. <laughs> I'm, from, I'm Michigan. from Michigan. <laughs> what are you talking Yeesh. about? <laughs> so yeah, so I sat outside and I did a tasting there. and But everything oh. else was reserved. I'm horrible at planning ahead. My I'm friend too. just texted me just mm-hmm. now today. We're going out to dinner tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. And she's like, hey, so what time do you want to meet? And where do you want to go? And I'm like, oh my God, we were not going for 36 pressure. hours. or yeah. what, I don't know, 24 hours. I'm like, yeah. boy, you sure like to plan ahead. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. I don't care. And then I, well, but then I named off a place and within like three minutes, she texts back and she goes, well, according to the website, they're not open on Sundays. I'm like, well, good thing I have her checking. Yeah. Where were you going? That's funny. Soup Spoon Cafe. Oh, love that place. I do too. So healthy and good and vegan. Mm -hmm. Don't make me feel like I don't go out (laughs) because where is it? It's right by Sparrow Hospital next to Fabiano's. You know what my husband and my kids have? I never You've never eaten there? Oh, you. We yeah. need to go eat there. Okay, mm-hmm. it is yummy. Karen and Their I soups tend are delicious. To go to, used to go to movies a lot, and what mm-hmm. happened? All of a sudden, that I just don't know. Reaching halt. We need to start because I want to go see that uh, game night is just out. Oh, with yeah. the guy from the from the thing from the thing <laughs> the guy from the thing Jason Bateman. Oh, is in okay. It. And <laughs> Kyle, somebody who normally doesn't do. Somebody? I just read an article on this yesterday. Kyle Some, from Friday Night Lights, I think. Who is oh, the girl though? Oh, because he also she did normally a cool show a long time ago about a newspaper and like he could see the future or something. And he worked for the Kyle McLaughlin. Kyle something. No, no. It's Kyle. He's something. got dark hair. Yeah. And he was on a TV show. He's gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this we're narrowing really it. Funny. We're narrowing it down. We are slowly working we will our way get down. this answer. Hey, fun fact: um, Jason Bateman's father-in-law. Do you know who it is? Paul Anka. Having my baby. <laughs> that one. Dead silence. I know, and I know the name. Cricket. But I'm cricket. Like, wait, who is that? Again? Cricket. And he also did the theme show from the original Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Monica, you're showing your age. Cricket. I just no. Cricket. I just know a lot of trivia that happened way before I was born. <laughs> That's what we're going with. Damn it. Who was the woman on that movie? Because she doesn't do a lot of comedies. Rachel McAdams. Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> She's pregnant. Just saying. Is she okay? <laughs> By who? Paul Anka? I have no oh God. Because she's having his baby. No, I don't know. Perfect. I have no idea. Yeah. So, oh, man. so yeah. So. I did go see a movie yesterday. What? What'd you go see? Not Winchester. Oh, we saw that one. Yeah, that was good. What'd you asleep. see, Karen? Do you, are you trying to did remember? Did you go see that new one? She's did you go see the, the new one? No, I saw the worst movie ever. <laughs> okay, let me try and guess what it would be. What movie's out now? That's the worst. What movie. What would you? It. It's almost as bad as that movie you dragged me to. Oh, God. Don't bring up Magic Mike. Are you bringing up Magic Mike? I had to owe her. It's it's on that. It's on that playing field. Oh, my God. Was it Fifty Shades? Oh, Oh, those are just so bad. It is. It is the porno version of a Hallmark movie. It is. Oh, my God. They are so bad. They're funny. It it was. It was hilarious. We went and saw that a couple weeks ago. Well, because we had free tickets. I was bullied into it. And literally uh, got, I did it because I rarely drink. (laughs) But I was um, pretty much hammered when that one started. And that's Mm -hmm. the only reason I almost kind of enjoyed it. I think I took a nap. You might have. You do yeah. that a lot of movies. So. Well, yeah, yeah I was. Rest I was, up. It's not a good one. We nope. were the only ones in the theater, so I was t- on my phone a lot. Yeah, it's not a good one. <laughs> nope, not at I all. I think I'll look at other. I'll read my book right now. Yeah. yeah. Look, I said the movie's on. I'll read my book. Yeah. Oh, I said to one of my friends, because we were going to that movie night to go yeah. watch the 50 whatever yeah. shades. And uh, I said. Sh- or my husband says 50 shades of spanking. <laughs> <laughs> And I said to my friend, um, would it be, do you think anyone would notice if I, if I took in my um, Bluetooth headphones and listened to podcasts while the movie was going? <laughs> you know what? Probably wouldn't have noticed. <coughs> do you have tuberculosis? Excuse me. I know. I'm, I know. You have, I have consumption. I just got over I'm it. I have consumption. <laughs> what, is, what are you, a minor? <laughs> I'm a minor prospector and I've got consumption. I've had consumption. <laughs> no, you guys are making me laugh too much. I can't handle it. And uh, yeah, Typhoid Monica probably brought us some sickness from a couple, oh, was it a couple weeks right. ago. It Everyone was. was down and yeah, you were just a carrier. I am. I'm oh, because t- that was. I people down big time. 
that was at the movie, the horrible Fifty Shades yeah. movie, and I, we were drinking some cocktails. Yeah. I'm like, here, taste of mine. She goes, oh, I got a, I got a scratchy throat. Maybe I shouldn't. And I'm like, my stomach's not feeling and, really and well. And she's like, my stomach's not feeling yeah. well. And her daughter was home just puking her guts out. And I'm yeah. like, seriously? And then the next day, her friend Renee got sick. Uh-huh. And Tracy said she wasn't feeling Everybody. Very good. It was just like, just. <laughs> you are a carrier. I am a carrier. <laughs> That's me. Thanks. But I'm feeling good now. But you know you're a survivor because you didn't get it. See? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The end of the it's world. Leo in you. People will be having babies with me because I am a survivor. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think anyone's having babies. <laughs> Norman, read us if you need help. Let me know. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones, call me. <laughs> I am so inappropriate, aren't I? I know I am. Oh, my goodness sakes. Um, Just inappropriate. What if he did call you? That'd be oh, fun. Well, yeah. Should, should I put a number? No, I'm kidding. You, can, you know what? You might as well. Eight, six, seven, five. You never know what. Nine. If you throw journey. stuff out. <laughs> oh, my oh. gosh. So yes, let, let's just touch on Winchester because we had a whole episode how we, we were so excited to watch this yeah. movie Winchester. I this was a movie I've never even yes, heard it's of. This. On the Winchester House, which is what? you should have seen oh, it when you were out in California. You should have. Uh, it's in San Jose. Um, it's That's a Sarah long Win- way away. I know. It's Sarah Winchester, and it's she. Oh no, it's not. It's, no, it's all not. one state, right? San Jose is sort of close. So you know is the it? way. I to <laughs> San Jose. I'm sorry, that was way too easy. Um, but Sarah Winchester's husband, when he died, she inherited 51% of the stock in the Winchester like guns. rifle. And she okay. felt that all of those people that the um, the guns had killed were haunting her, which apparently in the movie, they were real life's a little different. But it Was this I'm Judy like, Dench? No. Who was... Helen Melody? Mirren. Uh, Helen Mirren. <laughs> Helen Mirren. I know which movie this is. Yes. Then. Yes. And, and it's in She's it. in the House. Yeah. And, and it's I, like a creepy movie. It's a spooky yeah, movie. Until the I don't day go to she this. died, construction <laughs> went nonstop in that house until the day she died. Just to keep the ghosts and the spirits from getting her. The movie, they took on more of a ghost story theme. But it, to me, it was fun. That's the kind of movie I like to go see because it's not like. Oh my God, it's, it's one of those that you're like, you see someone peeking around the corner and you instantly know those someone's going to jump out at them. Or it's whole, one of those funny Yeah, no, 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 no. It doesn't make any difference. I still scream. She does. I do too. It's fun. I'm Skitter McSkitter. Skitter McSkitter. Oh, we had to sit in the fucking we can front sit in the row. Front row. Well, we have two seats in the front row. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank God movie seats were clean. I was watching it from leg down. I was like right up in front I hate of those it. seats. Yeah. But That's it was how fun. I fell asleep in yeah. one little she did. spot. She said I started like, to give out a couple mm. little snores. She did. It was all of a sudden I'm like, that's not. Oh, yep. She's asleep. So I'm like. So oh. it was really good. And I did miss it. Super good movie. Super great. Super Oscar. good. A super, super good yeah. movie. It was. I mean, yes, it was a. It was fun. If you don't, I mean, I guess my my expectations were yeah. kind of shot down because I wanted it to be so much more than yeah. what it was. But whatever. But, it was yeah. fun. It's more than truth. I mean, they really took the truth and you know built on it. Yeah. But still, it was fun. It, to me, it's I one saw of the fun three billboards. Boogies. Three billboards <gasps> outside Ebbing, Missouri. Yes! It's so good. Did yes. You see it? Mm-hmm. Ashley called it on one of our episodes. It is like, so good. Way before christmas yeah um she's like that is is one of the ones to be watching and yep. then i went to in at christmas i went with my son to watch the movie and i just it's so, so good, good. Yeah. i want to see phantom thread <gasps> this is daniel day lewis's last yes movie, isn't it? i well supposedly mm. i hope so, not. well yeah i love him too i do too. last of the mohicans oh <gasps> that's what i gosh yes. I, oh, I watched that movie probably 50 he is times. such a good actor Stay where you are. Stay with them no matter what. I will come back for you. I'm like, oh, yeah. When he jumps. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> oh, he was so gorgeous in that movie. Oh, I know. I He's such it. a good actor. Yep. He is. I hope this isn't his last movie. I don't think it will. Maybe be. he's going to, maybe he'll show up in Vikings. <laughs> you never know if I binge He would be a great oh, he would be a Viking. Good Viking. You know he... who's on there now is Jonathan Rhys Myers. <gasps> really? Yes. I know who that is. Yes. He played King Henry the Eighth yes. in the Tudors on yes, HBO. He did so good. Wasn't he also in the movie with Reese Witherspoon, Ever After? Or am I thinking of a different actor? That's somebody different. Okay, 
I love that movie. That's I a good too. movie. I own every that time one. that movie is on, I watch it. You know what? Mm-hmm. I Under the a- Tuscan Sun oh, and that movie. Yeah. Every time it's on, I have seen The Godfather. Oh. All those three movies. Mm-hmm. Well, no, the first two. The third one was not very good. <laughs> Every time that's on, I oh, sit I can't. And watch it. I, the minute that's on, I will stop and I'll sit and watch those. Too. Oh my I god, they're so good. Yep. Mm-hmm. I remember before I was married, I had some guys that I worked with came over and we watched the all three movies in one day, just like nonstop back to back. That's what we did. That's you were a trendsetter. Okay. Yeah, you were a trendsetter binge watcher before yep. it was a thing. I binged <laughs> right? before people even knew what that yes. word meant. <laughs> so yeah, yep. the non-food binging kind of thing. Yes, because yeah. I don't want to gain weight. Oh God! Are you going to mention it? Come on! Are you going to say it again? Come on! We're so tired of it. it. What are we saying? Sadie's over there. Even Sadie's rolling her eyes at you right now. (laughs) Try to mention my weight loss. She's going to talk about her weight loss. You can mention my weight gain now. (laughs) Thank you. I picked up what you dropped down. (laughs) That's what people say all the time. But yeah, I'm down um, fifty-six pounds. So yep. Mm -hmm. We are very proud of you. Yes, we are. Just teasing. Thank you. I've gone from a. Four, 16, 14 to a six size six clothes. So yeah, it's kind of exciting for me. You're that still not exciting. a six shoe though. You can't borrow my no, shoes. No, I know. Yet. That is the one regret oh, of my life. <laughs> Karen has some of the damn best shoes I've ever seen. And all I want to do is like, I just, she just ta- taunts me. <laughs> taunts me. Look at this. It's not your Look size. I'm like, darn it. Look at my new shoes. Thing, and you we'll cannot wear big, them. Fat feet. It's like, darn it. <laughs> So you're six, Karen. She is. However, yes. I have two children that wear the same size as I do. In fact, I had to, the boots they have on now, I had to go hunt from, my, they were my in number three's closet, so. Booty, booty, booty. Yeah, yeah you got a cute booty, booty, booty there. A no, couple of cute booties. There. She bought those for me, too. And I think she bought them because she wanted to wear them. So now I can always find them in her closet. Yeah, they're cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she bought them for you. I think so. Yeah. Just to wear, because I, I do that, too. <laughs> yeah, I thought you like, really like these the... shoes for me to wear. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That's funny. What size are they? These are, we wear nines. What size do you wear? About a seven, seven and a half. My feet, I used to wear a smaller, like a seven and a half, eight with each child. I have they three. get bigger. Yeah. I went up a half size in shoes. How does that happen? All the weight, we flatten our feet. Yeah, oh, they just God. get wider. They Gravity. just get wider. Yeah. Mine didn't get wider. They just, I don't know, whatever. I blame my children for so much. <laughs> I know, right? Let's start that yeah. list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Number one big butt Thank let's you. on let's unpack that yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would take two let's three spill the tea episode. on that yeah. subject we don't have enough time for that do we? <laughs> wine break wine break oh that was good that is a good wine yeah this is nice this, is a good wine. this was an apple wine is it was yeah it? yes did you fly it back or did you bring it back i bought it here okay yeah, got I, it. I did buy some wine and have it shipped. It hasn't appeared yet. Right. I have one that's coming. <laughs> There's a bunch of drunk UPS guys somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, where is it? I don't know where Garrett is, but we love you wine. Somewhere in Idaho. I have some wine that they're like, it'll show up eventually because it's Somebody. still in the barrels, which I thought was really cool. Mm. Wait a minute. You ordered barrels of wine? No, I didn't order oh, barrels of wine. Oh, God, because I'm thinking. The wine that I ordered is straw. still the in best? the barrel. <laughs> They didn't put it in bottles yet. Okay. <laughs> Darn it. I just thought that'd be a fun day. A whole barrel. <laughs> Super long straws. I and want. Barrels. Yeah. <gasps> Guess what I'm doing? What are you doing? I am going to see the Long Island Medium. What? Uh, she, yeah. She's coming to Soaring Eagle, and I got tickets. I'm going to go <laughs> see her. Hoping she's coming she'll... to Soaring Eagle. Yeah. She's coming to Soaring Eagle, which is. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Well, why have you not invited any of your really close friends here? I invited one because it's a birthday gift. (gasps) Obviously, it's not us. Not you. Wow. Birthdays Hmm. now, but it's for one. It's a birthday gift, but you get tickets. I have a birthday. (laughs) (laughs) It's in December, but I have one. I have one too. Well, I could look into getting extra tickets because it's this coming. It's it's Friday, and I'm very excited. I'm hope they're like. You know, like I'm sensing someone's dad, and I'm like, oh, either be mine or hers. You know, so we're very excited. Interesting. So, yeah. who are you going with? Re- I'm taking Renee for her You're birthday present. Renee for yeah. her I birthday. ran into Renee in Detroit. <laughs> Did she what? tell you? No. no. Yes. I was eating in Nordstrom's cafe. Oh my God, she did tell yes. me. Yes. Because she said, I was in Nordstrom's. Guess who I saw? And I'm like, Karen. <laughs> I mean, not even a blame. I'm like, Karen. She's like, 
Yeah, I'm like, shock me with something else because that's not going to do it. <laughs> She's like, yes, Karen. I'm like, of course it was. That's, yeah. Yeah, Karen's got me hooked on this store too. And several other things. Yes, this yes, Shinola. One of my got me two Shinolas for uh, watches for uh, Christmas, and this is one of them too. Is that where the term like shit and Shinola come from? Yes. You don't know shit from Shinola. You yeah, don't know shit from like Shinola because okay. Shinola was what is wax. Shinola? Is that it's a, a, shoe polish? Yeah. Oh. So it was black. Yeah. So it was. It looked like yeah. it was the color of. Oh. Yeah. And now Fascinating. Been, that's why it's that's why yeah. that saying is you don't know the difference right. between yeah. the two. And um, I had the pleasure of going into the Shinola store in Detroit, which is just amazing. Their watches are incredible. And then they, and it's not just And their leather they goods. They have amazing leather That's goods. It. They do leather goods. They have, they have bikes. We they could do. buy bikes of, we could we buy Shinola okay, bikes and fall, bike fall off of them. <gasps> would, we, I mean, we'd still fall off of it though. We would, we, <laughs> well, but we'd look good. Bike, might as well be a good one. <laughs> Agree. Yeah. Do you ever come to Detroit? Please go to Shinola because they are amazing. And, and when you buy awesome. a watch with the leather band, they put a little thing of Shinola uh, polish in with it. That's so cool. When yeah. you buy it at the store? No, some of the watches have the little thing of Shinola shoe oh. polish with well, them. Open. So I have this one. I have one that's got the leather band, and then I have one that's a silver one, and I love. So I have the moon phase, and I love that's it. That's the one I want. That's next. the one I have. Yeah. See, I, she's your the, vegan friend here is sitting here going, oh, oh God. <laughs> you, this morning, it was so funny because someone had sent the, You're not, one of those Are you little, vegan? She I, is. I, yeah, Since I transitioned when? in the last few months. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Because... Of many health reasons. wise or it's health. animal. I'm not even sure. I think it started health, but it also started animal rights and welfare. And yeah. for because for a long time, yeah, for a long time, I would eat like I'll be like, oh, I'll, I bought the organic grass fed beef, and 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 then I started thinking, well, well, they're still dead. They're still dead, and they're still slaughtered, and I don't know where you know. And then I watched like forks over knives and things like that talking about dairy and eggs because i'm like well eggs because that's not hurting anyone right and then but it is like the chickens the conditions that they put the chickens in no i've <laughs> I've, I've seen i've seen it before i too. don't eat veal for that reason because of the cruelty that i don't mm-hmm. i don't eat veal no yeah. i do not eat veal and i well. love veal I don't yeah I yeah don't i don't ever eat it i was just talking reasons. to oh my sister-in-law last night my sister-in-law was vegetarian from the time she was 14 to probably uh what did she say like in her 30s and she she said it took a couple years. She slowly transitioned back, and yeah. now she's like, I eat meat every day. Yeah, I mean, she's like burgers yeah. and ribs, and and, yep. and and that was me. I have been mm-hmm. a vegetarian twice in my life. Seriously. <laughs> oh, I'm because last time it was like a couple weeks or something. No, it was actually two months. So no, I when know. I and then when yeah. um when I was in um college it was for like almost a year Mm -hmm. and then i just broke down and i had to have an olive burger and i'm like Mm -hmm. that's it i'm eating you and your olive burgers you love those i do do too (laughs) so it drips down your elbows (gasps) double olive sauce did you know in fact we have a new place in town that just opened up and um they were talking about they do nothing but sliders and they also do an olive burger and they said the only place that we do that because they're kind of a chain and they said the only place that we do olive burgers is the mid michigan area because nowhere else do people really eat olive burgers i'm like really wait what that's like my favorite thing in the world yeah is an olive it burger. is mine too growing up i worked at this mm-hmm. place called westlake drive-in in portage shout out except i think they're for sale now oh. but anyway it was the coolest thing it was right on the lake mm-hmm. and it was a drive-in obviously and they were known for their they had olive burgers and they had <sighs> the fried mushrooms and and onion rings and french fries and um, that was the best summer job ever mm. in high school. I bet. And I made some, I would come home with stacks of cash and my dad, I'd be counting it and he'd be like, dang, maybe I should get a job there. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, it was super fun. I worked there with my friend Sandy and we just, that was like the coolest place to work. And Did you get free food? Um, there was, that was my question. That was a few decades ago, a yeah. couple decades ago. But um, yeah, so I think we got a discount. I'm sure. But they were like, they were shakes. Oh, they had good oh. milkshakes. Mm. I saw We're... McDonald's is coming out with their shamrock shakes. I've never. Had I've one. never had one either. <gasps> I don't think I, I have ever never had, had one. one. Mint shakes, just like no. Nope, mm, I've no. never had one. If I'm give me chocolate have a... or give me death. Give me or vanilla. strawberry. I like strawberry oh, see, I'm shakes. A girl, so. mm. yeah, I like that. Oh look I'm at a chocolate. One She's for each. Strawberry. Look at we're Neapolitan. 
together. We are, we are Neapolitan. We are Neapolitan. <laughs> we're the Yay. I think we need to go to Italy just because just of that. that. Let's yes. go to Italy. That's just for that. <laughs> Wine and we're Neapolitan. Oh, uh, well, and then, you know what I remembered? We never, like, did, like, a cheers. Well, so we have to do a cheers. We so end it with it let's, we're going to end it with a cheers okay. today. So and you guys, thank you, Karen. For, this is what we do. Our thank podcast you for a blast. inviting me. <laughs> we <laughs> Little really did I know fun. what was happening across I the cul de sac. My husband's always like, "When are you going to be back?" I'm like, "I don't know. It depends on how the show goes. So it could be a day. I don't know." So yeah. now, now I got to go get you. an Alf burger. When you do oh cheers, gosh, you have to look each other in the eyes. Otherwise, it's bad luck. Told you. Oh, my God. Told Monica you. does that all the time. Yes. Like, it is got them you have to make like eye contact. She has to do crazy eyes. Yes, no, I do, too. Do this. Yes, big that's big exactly what we do. Big old crazy eyes. See? Big crazy eyes. <laughs> Yay. Perfect. Yes. Go for it's happy hour. Thank you for joining us. We always have room for you at the bar. Seat saved right there. You might want to sit by me because I'm more fun. Just saying. Just throwing that one out. <laughs> And she's smaller. Oh, my God. All right, you guys. I'm Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Karen, for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me. Super Yay. fun. Ashley's going to be listening to this going, God damn it. What was I doing? Making a movie Should when I, I could miss be out, out on the fun. Well, oh. yes, you did miss Ashley. <laughs> Well, we missed you, Ashley, but we are so happy that Karen could join us today. And um, for everyone else, cheers. Toodles. Goodbye. Cheers. Toodles. 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 That's what we should say from now on. Toodles. 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 Toodles.